Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial I am going to show you how to perform a cumulative Oracle Database backup. Now what I mean by cumulative backup, I mean a incremental cumulative backup. Okay, um, RMAN, which stands for Recovery Manager, is a utility, utility that comes free with the Oracle Database software and it is a utility which allows you to backup and restore and recover an Oracle database. Now there are two methods to backing up and restore an Oracle database. There's user managed backup and recovery and server managed backup and recovery. Server managed backup and recovery is what RMAN um, allows you to do. And RMAN is a typical server client program in the Oracle networking world which it's a client which connects to the server, the Oracle database instance and it backs up the Oracle database at a block level. Okay, so it, it, it understands the Oracle logic. It's Oracle aware. It's database aware. Now, Oracle database, RMAN, allow, RMAN and Oracle database allows you to, is the only way to do an incremental backup of an Oracle database. It basically feeds all the blocks and all the data, all the data blocks from all the data files into the um, SGA and the SGA then looks at those blocks sees if what has changed since the last incremental backup and if the data block SCN, every data block has an SCN, a system change number in its header. If it's greater than the SCN of the data block that it backed up prior, it, it assumes that that block gets changed and it will back it up. And if the SCN is not greater, then it won't back it up. Okay? And this is basically a quick little internal lesson on how incremental backups work. Now, RMAN allows you to do two types of incremental backups, a differential incremental backup, which happens to be the default, and a cumulative incremental backup. Now, um, there are, I do have two RMAN um, YouTube videos out there on how to back up a database using a differential incremental backup and how to restore and recover an Oracle database using an RMAN differential incremental backup. Okay, This video shows you how to back up a database incrementally using the cumulative method. Okay, and um, what the difference is, is with a differential incremental backup, it you back up you start your backup series with a full backup, a level zero. And no, a level zero is not the same as just a backup database command which backs up everything regardless. Okay, level zero is a full backup and it's the start of an incremental series. Okay, if you do a cumulative the next day it's going to back up everything that's changed since the level zero backup. If you back up, let's say on a Tuesday, it's going to back up every uh, cumulative backup will back up everything that's changed since the level zero on Sunday. If you do another backup on Wednesday, cumulative backup, the cumulative backup will back up everything that's changed since Sunday level zero. So basically what that means is that every incremental backup will be large, okay, will be big, okay, but if we have to restore, you only need two backups. You need Sunday, the level zero, and you need whatever day you're restoring to, Thursday. Now, how does that differ from the, uh, differential incremental backups? Well, in a differential method, uh, you do your level zero on Sunday, which is a full. Everything gets backed up regardless. And then Monday, you do a differential, and it'll back up everything that's changed since the last backup, which is the full. Then on Tuesday, you do another differential, and that backs only backs up everything that's changed since Monday. Then Wednesday you do another differential and that's backed up everything that's changed since Tuesday. So if you want to restore, you will need the full backup from Sunday and you'll need Monday's backup and you'll need Tuesday's backup if you wanted to restore to Tuesday. And if you wanted to restore to, to Friday, you would need Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday's differentials. Okay, so those are the differences. Uh, cumulative incremental backup backs up everything that's backed up since the last level zero and a differential backs up only since the last differential backup so it really depends on where you want the most effort right our man you really don't need that much effort at all but what when you need what you need the most files right or tapes for that instance for that matter so a differential you need let you need more tapes or more files or whatever you want to call them on the back end on the restore side a cumulative you only need two you need less okay at a minimum and to really see the difference between cumulative and differential i highly recommend that you watch the differential backup and restore uh, youtube videos as well and then compare and contrast to this video okay let's go ahead
and let's set our Oracle SID to finance the name of the database we want to back up and let's connect using rman and we do rman target slash which means it's connected to what Oracle SID is set to which in this case is finance and this is our target database in rman world talk okay and we're not using the recovery catalog in this scenario okay so to create our level zero we're going to pretend it's Sunday. Okay, this is going to be our scenario. So type in backup, the backup command, and type in incremental, telling an RMAN you want this to be an incremental backup. And you want it to be a level zero backup. And then tell RMAN you, what type you want it to be. Cumulative. Okay, C U M U L A T I V E. Cumulative. Okay, now if you were to omit the type here and just say level zero, it would back up um, the differential. It would use differential incremental method. Differential incremental backup type is the default. Database, and we want to back up the database. And we're going to give it a tag, which is just a name for the backup. In this case, we'll level zero hyphen cumulative to say that's the type of backup it is. Sunday evening backup. Okay? And this backup will take longer than the subsequent cumulative incrementals that we're taking, that we're going to, to, uh, to run because uh, it's backing up all the data data blocks regardless uh, regardless it's just going to back up the entire database and uh, I'll pause this video while that backup is occurring okay the level zero backup for Sunday has completed and if we just type in list backup summary in our man here we will see that we have the level zero one backup set for our data files and one backup set for our control file and SP files okay so let's go into, let's connect to our finance database using our old friend SQL plus, select name from the dollar sign database, and let's create a table called days with one column called day and character type variable character with 10 characters as the limit. So this is just going to be a, a standard regular heap table, which is a heap table, H-E-A-P, is the default table type created in an Oracle database. Okay, so we have our days table created. There's a structure of it, and the contents of the table there are not there's a, there are no values in it, so it's a, it's not it's a non-populated table. So let's go ahead and let's insert our first row into our table. Insert into days values Monday. Like so commit select asterisk from days. Okay, so now. We have Monday in here. So go ahead and connect to the database again via RMAN. And let's kick off our database backup again. But this time, change the level 0 to a level 1 and change the le change the, in the tag. Hit the save to level 1 so we know what we're dealing with. And change also in the tag from a Sunday to Monday. Okay, so we're, we're creating a little hypothetical scenario here, okay, where the data that was, that data has been inserted into the database since the level zero on Monday, it's, we created a, a table was created called days and a column was inserted into that table, well, I'm sorry, a row was inserted into that table um, called uh, Monday, okay, and this, this is just to simulate, um, uh, changes in the database and an incremental backup will go quicker than a full backup because it is still read and an incremental backup is still going to read every data block in the database and throw it in the memory and, and determine what has changed since the last backup but the transfer time is going to be much much quicker uh, there's a way to stop every block from being read in the memory that using a, um, a block change in file let's see my video on the RMAN block change in file about that Okay, so now I'll type in list backup summary, and we will see we have two for level zeros for Sunday and two level zeros for Monday. So go back into our old friend SQL plus, and let's insert Tuesday. So now here's the data that has changed all day Tuesday. Okay, select aspect from days. We have Monday and Tuesday now. So, connect my arm in again.
and let's run our backup again. Change in our tag. Level one is fine. To Tuesday. To denote that this is Tuesday's cumulative level one incremental backup. And again, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so we do a list backup summary command, and we see two for Sundays, two for Monday, and two for Tuesday. So now here's our hypothetical Wednesday, and we're going to insert that row into the days table. Wednesday. Connect via RMAN. And kick off our level one again, but for Wednesday this time. And again, let me pause the video while this runs. <clears throat> okay, the Wednesday backup has completed. List backup summary. And we see we have uh, level, two level zeros for Sunday, two mon level ones for Monday, two for Tuesday, and two for Wednesday. Log in SQL Plus. And uh, this is, then we're going to insert a row for Thursday. You see, I'm using my shortcut keys, which is the up arrow, <laughs> a lot. Being efficient, baby. Okay, backup incremental level one, cumulative database, and Thursday, HR. And again, I'll pause the video while this backup runs. Okay, Thursdays is complete. List backup summary. Two for level zeros for Monday, two level ones for uh, I mean for Sunday, two level ones for Monday, two for Tuesday, two for Wednesday, and two for Thursday. Okay. SQL plus. Friday. Friday. Backup incremental one, cumulative, and we change it to FRI for Friday. And again, I'll pause this video while this occurs. Okay, and the backup for Friday has completed. We do list backup summary. And we see our two level zeros for Sunday, two level ones for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And log in with SQL Plus. And let's insert a row for Saturday. Commit. Select aspect from, from days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And let's go ahead and connect my RMAN again. And finally, let's do back incremental one for Saturday. And again, I can't stretch I can't um, stress this enough that a backup database command without an, without any of these clauses, arguments, whatever you want to call them, that does, yes, backup effectively backs up the entire database, and it may even be the same size as a level zero if you compare to file sizes, the backup piece file sizes, um, is not the same thing as a level zero. Okay, And if you try to do a level one without there being a level zero in the history, it will um, automatically run, run level zero for you. And if you do a level one, it's going to, and there's level ones prior to it, it's going to assume that, that it's part of that series. So keep that in mind.
So we do a list backup summary. Here's here's our whole history here. We have two level zeros for Sunday, two for Monday, two for Tuesday, two for Wednesday, two for Thursday, two for Friday, and two for Saturday. Okay. And that's how you uh, run a backup, a cumulative backup of an Oracle, incremental backup of an Oracle database. And you need to be an R-man to do it. R-man's the only way to run them. And also, um, cumulative backup backs up everything that's changed since level zero. Everything that's changed. Okay. So if you have a cumulative backup, Saturday's cumulative incremental backup. Saturday will have all the changes from Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, um, Tuesday, Monday, and Sunday in it. Okay, well, not Sunday, I'm sorry. Saturday cumulative will have all the changes from Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday, and Monday. And then you would need Sunday um, to, you would need to lay down Sunday first as a foundation. Okay, and if we go to the default location where, and you can change this. See my video on RMAN configuration on how to change it. Oops. Ah, make sure I go to the right directory here. Probably leave you guys this track. The um, the directory where the uh, where Armand by default will write the backups pieces is your Oracle home, which is where the Oracle database software is installed, which on in this system is c colon slash Oracle slash app slash product slash eleven one zero slash db underscore one slash data, and then the subdirectory slash database. And here are all the files that we just created. And here's our level one, and you'll see that it is uh, it's the biggest because it was a full. And we can see the times here, which is which. So here's our level one, our level zero from Sunday. Here's the second Sunday backup. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, and there's 14 total files. Okay, so here are all the backups that we wrote. And uh, for people using uh, media management layers, MMLs, which means that there's a backup, enterprise backup product on the back end. These will be written to tapes. Okay? All right. Thank you. That's how you back up an Oracle database using cumulative incremental.